I think the first advice is to make sure you know what you need. So for example, when we were looking at our ICT support services, uh, we had to really start from the beginning point of knowing what sort of infrastructure we currently have, um, looking at our assets register, uh, looking at what some of the difficulties are between working between three locations. Um, so we started with that as the starting point. That helped inform us about what we needed for the future and so we developed a tender process um, to put it out to the marketplace to make sure that we were getting the best support we needed when we need it. So our services operate seven days a week. Obviously we have a requirement to make sure things are running smoothly. The second bit of advice would be, um, certainly we looked very closely at our backup systems and looking at disaster recovery. Um, we were also mindful that we wanted to make sure that the information stored on our software, on our um, PCs, was stored in a consistent way. So we developed some protocols about the ways that people can do that, making sure that everybody's following that. And that makes sure that when, when it comes to backup, that you can find documents when you need to in case something goes wrong. And I guess the third thing is, uh, as a part of advice, we would definitely recommend um, engaging with the board and uh, or a subcommittee of the board in helping them understand what the needs are for ICT in the organisation. They have a role in terms of stewardship and planning and um, governance but they sometimes might need to understand a bit of the operational needs to know why it's important to make the investments.